Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we're going to play Mari's Wedding. <laughs> not actually a traditional song. It was written in 1934 by John Bannerman for Mary McNiven on the event of her winning a dancing contest. And uh, her wedding, I believe, wasn't until five or six years later, but um, that's what it is, Mari's Wedding. It's a very popular tune, as I know, because on my old um, YouTube channel, when I used to throw any old video uh, on, the one video, myself playing this with Alan Dunn, the accordion player, um, had views in tens of thousands where everything else has about 50 views. So uh, some people obviously liked, uh, liked this tune. I'm going to give it you in the key of G and in the, the more fiddle friendly key of A. And basic melody and a few ornaments. So uh, it's a very simple melody. Uh, let's give it you in G first. One, two, three. Incidentally, uh, there's some disagreement about where you should repeat. I was doing repeats on um, each, the, the A section and the B section. Uh, some people, I think, uh, only repeat the B section, but uh, that's up to you, really. Now, lots of uh, drones. So, G drone. D drone. Now, that um, Scotch snap. Uh, it's not probably an, an essential part of the melody. Um, you could do that. But the Scotch snap has kind of uh, strayed from the Strathspey out into any melody. And uh, it's, I think it's quite acceptable to stick it in wherever you want. Um, little hammer on there. And a little roll. drone under the D note, double cut, another double cut, and you can do an A drone over the D if you want. Uh, in A, in the key of A, it's more Scottish, you've got more ringing, a bit more power, and it's actually really nice to do a key change. Uh, so from... So when you get those ringing E's, it really makes a difference. And the ringing A's under the A. Crunch under the E if you want, with a, a third finger. If you 
you're playing this uh, with the, the G into the A, then you could speed up at that point uh, to add to the excitement. This is the tune that we used to play with our Cayley band uh, as um, at weddings when um, bride and groom were leaving. They would um, guests would form an arch, uh, a long arch, and the bride and groom would uh, crawl <laughs> under the arch, and we would play this endlessly round. And um, at some point go up to the A and uh, they gave a kick of excitement. So I hope you enjoy this. If you like it, um, send me an email. I will send you a copy of the dots if you subscribe. Uh, I'll play you out with the G and the A with some backing.